So today's video, I'm going to explain to you how you might be able to use your vintage camera without a light meter. Did you just get a camera? Is it old or is it vintage? I'm hoping we're going to go with vintage because there's a really good chance that that old camera was probably made around the same time I was, which would make me old and I don't want to be old. I'd rather be vintage. There's kind of a stigma attached to being old and well, it's wrong. We shouldn't have stigmas, but we do. So let's go with vintage. Mechanical cameras didn't always come with light meters, which meant we'd set the shutter speed and the apertures according to guides that we might be given with the film, or to what an external light meter might actually be telling us to set the camera to. One of the guides that we would use to help us with our exposure was called the Sunny 16 rule. So here's how the Sunny 16 rule works. If you've got a subject that is lit by the sun, you can set the aperture to f16, and you can set the shutter speed to the nearest reciprocal of the ISO of your film. And that sounds complicated, but it's pretty straightforward. If you've got 100 ISO film in your camera, the reciprocal of that would be 1 over 100, which means your shutter speed would be set to the nearest setting that matches that reciprocal. So in this case, 1 over 125, or 125th of a second. Mechanical film cameras came with shutters that were set on full stop adjustments. So your shutter speed dial probably starts at, at 1, which would be 1 second exposure, and then goes to a thousandth of a second. Some of them may have topped out at 500th of a second, but that's sort of the general sort of range. So every adjustment on the shutter speed dial, 1, half, quarter, 8, 15th, 30th, 60th, 125th, 250th, 500th, and 1,000th, all of those numbers adjust the amount of exposure by a full stop. And it's the same with our apertures as well. Our apertures often went from f2 to f16 or f22, depending on the lens. You can use equivalent settings that give you the same exposure. You can use a faster shutter speed and a wider aperture. Or you can use a slower shutter speed and a smaller aperture, but not much smaller because many of our lenses kind of topped out at f16. You're also not limited to 100 ISO film. You could use 400 ISO or you can use 50 ISO. And the same sort of formula applies. F16 for the aperture, and in the case of 400 ISO film, you can set it to 1 over 400, or the nearest one, which would be 1 over 500. 50 ISO film, same deal. 1 over 50, the nearest shutter speed becomes 1 over 60. The Sunny 16 rule is somewhat a summer rule. If the sun's in the sky and it's high, the rule applies. If it's earlier in the morning or later in the afternoon, open up to F11. If you've got a cloud or two, or a few, also open it up to f11. Only if the sun's not obscured. If the sun is obscured, you'll probably need to go to f8. If you've got a subject that's standing in the shade, go to 5.6. I have a variation on the Sunny 16 called the Shady 8. Maybe I'll do a video about that. Well, that was the Sunny 16 rule, and I've used it for a really long time. If you found it useful, hit like. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. If you want to hear when I've got new content, ring the bell. And if you have anything you want me to cover, leave a comment below. Thanks again. Ciao.